Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Libras for the month of August 2017. So we are going to start with our theme of the month. I'll be giving a little bit more guidance with the angels, and lots of different topics come up with that. And then we are going to be focusing on healing this month, health. So that can be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health. And then lastly, I've got some quick tips for you around wealth related to feng shui, and this specifically relates to your stove. So look forward to that at the very end of the reading. Let's go ahead and get started. We've got the Hermit as your theme for the month. And this Hermit card, Archangel Raziel, is a card that really talks about going within. So this is a month for you to take time to be quiet. So it's going to be less social for you than other months have been, um, particularly this summer. And it's a time for you to do self-reflection. It's about self-discovery, spiritual growth, right? And it really um, is letting you know that anything that is going on in your life that seems to be a problem can be solved by going within, by getting quiet, by meditating, right? So that is going to be a huge theme for you for the month of August. Okay, so let's see what else we've got going here. The wind is really kind of kicking up, which is actually nice because it's a little bit warm here today. So I kind of like that. And I am, for those of you that maybe haven't watched me before, I am in Maui. I moved here from Minnesota a couple months ago, and I absolutely love it. So awesome. Okay, so we've got Archangel Raphael, the Lover's Card. And when this card comes in, this lover's card is, of course, about intimate relationships, right? It's about relationships that deepen, and it's about that sort of close connection, that close bond that you have. Um, the other piece that comes in with this lover's card is about weighing decisions. So it has to do with um, uh, taking a look at sort of the um, decision from a, a bird's eye view. So what I'm seeing around this is, you know, looking at that decision as maybe it's in a bowl and you're looking above it. So lots of times when we pull back, we can get a better perspective and be able to make a better decision when we're pulling back. And sometimes that means just like thinking about like, okay, if this were somebody else's problem, what would I recommend to them, right? Like what would I suggest to them to do, right? Sometimes we're just too close to it. So you need to pull back. And then we've got the Four of Fire coming in for you. The Fire cards are all about passion and action, and this Four of Fire is about contented family. Um, so I always think about this as being like just a nice, safe container for you, um, where you can feel supported. It's about having a happy home life. Um, and it also is um, a successful completion of a project. So in this month of August, there is going to be something that you're going to be able to wrap up this month, and that's going to feel really good to you. So it might be something around the home. It might have something to do with your work, um, with families, you know, whatever that case may be. It's some sort of project, something that you're going to be wrapping up this month. Okay. And then we've got the chariot, Archangel Metatron. And Metatron is actually one of my favorite angels. He's our time angel. He also helps with organization. And this is really um, Metatron's bringing in for you that self-discipline and that willpower because that is something also that you're going to need this month. And I think that Hermit card is a reflection of that, like needing to sort of put your nose to the grind and do the work. Um, so having that self-discipline to do what you need to do this month. It's also about having some public recognition. So do what you need to do, like focus, have that willpower, and then you've got some rewards coming in for you around that. Um, so there is an important achievement. So again, that completion of things obviously can be an achievement as well. All right, let's see what we've got for your health. And again, this health can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, any, any one or all of those things can come into play here. All right, we've got the recovery card. Uh, Archangel, and this deck is all Archangel Raphael, but this is really about um, letting you know that he's lending a helping hand for you in recovering from whatever it is that has been going on with you. So it might be a, a short-term illness, it might be a surgery, it might be 
um, even just a, a, a mental blip or like a um, mental state that you've been in and he's helping you recover from that. Um, it could be related to, uh, oh, you know, any number of things around that. But he, what I'm seeing with this is that um, it's almost like he's picking you up off the ground and allowing, like, you know, allowing like as if he's a horse he's picking you up and you get to ride like he's letting you have a gentler road right rather than having to walk he's he's sort of picking you up and helping you along your way is what I'm seeing around that and then we do have a divine intervention card so this might be for you or potentially could be for someone else in your life as well um, I'm feeling like it's it's more than likely related to someone else in your life that is going through something traumatic with their health and needs intervention. And so what you can do is ask Archangel Raphael. And so what, what we do is we um, will thank them as we're asking. So the prayer is, Archangel Raphael, thank you for being with, and then you name the person, right? Um, and for helping them with whatever the situation is. I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now. And then what you're doing is you're opening up yourself to be guided as to what you can do to help, okay? So you will get um, certain guidance and maybe you need to bring food over. Maybe you need to, um, you know, just lend a helping hand with stuff around the house for that person. Who knows? But you'll, you'll be guided around what you can do. And then um, the last card that I have is stay positive. And this is about your mental state of course because that does affect your life right the more positive you are the more positive your expectations about things in your life the better your life goes so if you have a positive expectation that uh, things will go well and that things will work out for you then they will so one of the great phrases that I love to use is everything's always working out for me everything is always working out for me right if you can repeat that like everything is always working out for me that is a much better um, positioning a much, much better phrasing to use than you know some of the other phrases that we hear people using a lot right so put a positive spin on it have those positive expectation and then that is what you will bring into you so Love this for you, um, Libras, and just stay tuned for the next video that will give you some quick feng shui tips for your stove. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here with your quick feng shui tip for this month. Um, there are three key areas in your home and in your space that affect your wealth. So what I'm going to be talking about and focusing on today is one of those areas. We've talked previously about the front door. That is one key area that affects your wealth and your income, the things that are coming into you. The second key area that affects your wealth is your stove, regardless of where it's located. The third area is your wealth corner. So today we are going to focus on your stove, and then next month we'll focus on your wealth corner of your home. So your stove, no matter where it's located in your home, as I mentioned, is tied to money. Why is that? The reason for this is that the stove was thought to be um, a symbol of abundance because the more people that you could feed, the more uh, abundance and money that you had, right? So the more burners that you have, uh, the better that is. So in my current home now, I have an extra burner. So normally you have four, right? I have five. Uh, so that's kind of a cool thing to be having in this space. Um, so I'm going to give you two quick tips around the stove and things that you can do to, to boost or increase your abundance using your stove. And if you want more information around that, check out the deep dive reading below. So the first quick tip is to keep it clean, right? We want to be um, having our stove in a place that is, you know, clean and shiny and, and bright so that it can attract that abundance. So that's the first quick tip. The second quick tip I have for you is to use all of your burners, right? Um, so we often use typically the one that is in the right and the front of the stove that's 
just what people do. We always use that burner. What I encourage you to do is to use all the different burners on the stove. And then I'm actually going to give you one more bonus tip so you actually get three tips. The bonus tip is a feng shui adjustment that's super, super powerful. And what you do for this adjustment is you turn all of the burners on on your stove until they get red hot. So whether you have electric or, or gas, doesn't matter turn on all of the burners and it just needs to be you know you don't even have to do it for a full minute it can be just like 30 seconds or something like that till they're all you know burning bright right and then do this for nine days in a row and the nine is significant because nine is all about um, reaching new heights and it's a very lucky number in feng shui so do this for nine days in a row it doesn't have to be at any particular time but I would encourage you to put a note somewhere to remind you to do it because if you miss a day, you've got to start over, right? So those are your actually three quick feng shui tips for wealth related to your stove. Again, if you want more, check out the deep dive reading below. That will give you deeper information about your particular zodiac sign. So deeper information about your career, health, finances and relationships and also will give you a lot deeper dive tips around your stove and the things that can be affecting your income related to your stove. For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy your month. Much love to you.